Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Potter's Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. As you can see, we have a great game coming up for you this evening. And I'm going to hand you now over to the commentary team from the BBC. Thank you very much. Yes, the first of our players out for this, the under-25 singles final. From Scotland is a player who has previously won the SYBA under-17s triples and pairs events. This morning he defeated the current defending champion for this match. Please put your hands together for Daniel Poole. <laughs> His opponent for this match, a former World Singles qualifier. He has several national titles to his name, including a previous under-18 singles champion. From Scotland as well, Darren Weir. Two very talented young under 25 players in front of us this evening. Plenty of opportunity tonight to, uh, or not only tonight, to practice before the match, but on many other occasions as well over the last couple of days they've been here. 25 and a half metres. Darren Weir, of course, has been here before. So he knows the portable rink in terms of not being intimidated. And it's always difficult to come here and play well. Daniel Poole. His first time. And he will just have to search around a little bit for those inside lines. They're not easy to find. Quite a list of titles behind Darren Weir. So he's an experienced Two, player for such a young man at 22. Yes, I first met Darren when I worked up in Scotland. Did a little bit of coaching, not a lot. Didn't need a lot. He was such a good player, Dave. Yes, it's uh, quite often it's a matter of natural talent and hard work. The combination, isn't it? Two green. Quick action, left hander, goes away. Modern bowler doesn't hang about. Yep, good ball, could be counting. Certainly Three looks green. like it. And three green confirmed very quickly. Yeah. 
Daniel didn't play the weight on that line. Yes, it's very easy to miss a line, isn't it, John? You know, it's um, you have to Three believe shot, that the ball's going to come back and push it out. First down. Darren's got considerably more experience than Daniel, but uh, <coughs> Scottish Young Bowlers Association for Daniel Poole, under 17 champion in the pairs and triples, so he started very young. A good through with that, it was always a Good opportunity to see young players coming through on that association. That 24 and a half metres. Daniel's indoor club is Cumbria IBC. Lives in Annan. Just over the border. Yeah, then. just yes, over the border. Yeah. I think did David yeah. Gurley once played. I think he once uh, he lived in Annan or close by. Uh, I think you, you mean Anbank. Dave. Was it? Yes. Anbank? No, I don't. Anbank's in Ayrshire. Yeah, it's in Ayrshire, yeah. uh, rather than Dumfries. Uh, your geography isn't very good. Well, it's across the water, mate, but I think Dumfries is below, so that's probably what it is, yeah. just over the border Anbank to Cumbria. Is, yeah, it's on the border, he's playing in Cumbria. Yeah. Anbank, uh, Goulet was uh, hometown. Uh, good indoor club, Cumbria, though. Yes. Good. Lots of good players from there over the years. Right by the railway station. In Carlisle. You can see it off the train, David. Yes, I've been there. I played in it. <laughs> Darren Weir started very well, you. Yeah. Reply very close. Oh, great ball. Just dropped off it. Well, that's good, good bowling. Second end, well settled in. Daniel Poole can play the heavy shot and watch him in the first game, and he won't be afraid to have a go at things. works as a communications officer with Bowl Scotland, which is quite appropriate considering he's got a bachelor's degree in sports journalism. Played yeah. this. Played it really well. Oh, he was unlucky. He fell back on the jack. One great. Still just the one. Yeah, it's unfortunate then. Just wanted to lock on to that. Daniel Poole on the inside line. He's got enough weight to hold him. Needs to hurry. Didn't push through it. Good effort for weight. He probably didn't miss his line by much, John, but you know what it is. It just dips underneath. Yeah, most of these much guys are using away. big swinging balls, so it looks a little bit worse. Set score zero, 4 off to 2 ends. Four and a half meters. 
Lovely start again, Darren Weir with first ball in close to the jack. Much more positive this, Daniel Poole. Getting right up there, close as he can. Well, that's good bowling. It's ultimately still under the scrutiny of television. These two young players on a on a rink that obviously uh, Darren Ray's got more experience, but it's still a challenging rink to play balls on. One green. Played. Just raised the red into the jack. Nice touch. Yes, very, very good touch, good weight. with that ball another four or five inches and just right. come around the back of the jack would have been perfect played it well again great end of bowls absolutely This is difficult. This is, this is a hard one because you, you want to get into the green bowl to try and Daniel make a, a three or a four out of it, but you know if you get it wrong, it's going to cost you three or four shots. So and it's early days and an 11 end set. Yeah, he hasn't got any back position. He's playing a little roll at this, trying to get underneath for the green. Mm, that should kick away very quick. Yeah, he's safe enough on that play. Missing on that side is okay. Yeah. Didn't want to be high of it. Oh, I want to get the red into the jack. One shot, Daniel Paul. Set score one four after three ends. Six and a half meters. We're indoor club or Drossen IBC indoor bowling club. Outdoor club Trun. Yes, he plays with Paul Foster, I believe, down quite a bit. Uh, they had to move clubs indoor because Prestwick, you remember Prestwick, yes. David, very old club, has now uh, ceased to be. So it's about Drossen. Good pick up for our draws in that. 
I played in Androssen in 1983, David. It was a wonderful carpet then. It's half as good now. It'd be very good. Androssen Indoor. I wonder was I there. Beautiful carpet at that time. Yeah, sounds familiar to me. One red. Good again. Oh, that's a very good hand. Played this really well. He's lengthening the jack away from his own ball, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, shot bowl is three and a half inches. That's a much better single shot in many ways because it's half hidden. He's close, he's so close with this. Oh, oh yes. That is great bowling. That's a brilliant ball. You're sitting, turning the jack, and you're thinking, this is going to be hard to beat. Darren beats it with the first ball. The Super Bowl that was. Daniel Poole was, must have been thinking, well, I'm in a very good position. And then it gets beat. Hard shot he's trying to play here. Oh, oh well, goodness me, he's bounced it right out off the rink. I think he will lie the shot, but there'll be a mountain of room to be drawn, so... Good ball to hit the head, though. Yeah, it wasn't an easy target. One red. We are supporters. Oh, didn't just beat it, he showed off the point catcher. <laughs> well, he was always going to draw it, wasn't he? Playing too well to miss that shot. Good, good attempt by Daniel. Very good ball here. A very, very small gap, yeah. This sort of quality of play would have gone down well in the open singles as well, more than capable. coming through the qualifying. Look at this. Wonderful to try again. Great balls. Mm. So we're looking at them as young players, John, but there are a lot of 
full senior internationals at this age as well. Yeah, and Darren Weir obviously has, has played in the senior team. He came here last year in the open singles. Daniel Poole is impressing me, considering he's fairly inexperienced on this rink. The two games that I've seen him play looks a very good prospect. Unfortunately for them, they're trying to really make a name in one of the in a country that bowls is in many ways their national and most successful sport. Yeah, so I always say Scotland really to bowls is what Brazil is to football. Absolutely. See him doing much with this one. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? If if he was to change, if he's thinking of changing the length, the next end, then he would do play a practice shot. Yeah, I've got a feeling he might have. Oh, this is very uh, dangerous. But he, no, I think he's, okay. he's, he's all right. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was just trying to play the ball then, but one shot, okay. yeah. ball. Well, you know. He, uh, he deliberately played on the outside, that's fine, no problem with that. Set score 2 5 after 5 ends. Very good standard. Both lads playing really well. We're also playing at a heck of a fast pace. Yeah, they are. Find up the younger players. Yeah, definitely. And but it makes good for good viewing, I think, for a TV audience or for the audience here. Not hanging around. They know what they're going to play. Very positive. Get on the mat and play it. Yes, absolutely. the loosest end we've had so far. One red, I think Darren will make the adjustment with this ball. That's the short ball. Last ball, the gap is 10 inches. Yeah, it's almost cruel, isn't it? You miss the line by a couple of inches and you end up three feet away. Yeah, just, just inside is not much more than that, really. Left-hander is able to go so much wider. <laughs> uh, better one. It, it is, yes, yeah, absolutely a better one. One green. on it would be good. He's just looked for that again. A little bit too keen to reach it, Dave, and he's missed the line on the inside. Yes, and all the balls are up.
Yeah, nice play. Just about enough. One shot. Darren Whitton. Well, there's only one in the end. The ball fell back. Didn't quite make it. It's got two six off to six ends. Yeah, six ends, five ends to go. So plenty of time in this match. Crowd just coming back in after an evening meal. Paul Foster keeping an eye on things. There he knows we're looking at him. He knows we're talking about him. That's even worse. Track length, 24 Keeping meters. up with all the fan mail. <laughs> Lots of close opening balls from Darren Weir. Played many outside of foot, Dave. Very few. Very few. Get the impression someone like Darren Weir, with the experience he's had and the titles he's won already, is just on the edge of being groomed for future major events. John, he's, uh, he has that look about him. Yeah, and he'll benefit from playing. Obviously, he plays in the same club, outdoor and indoor, as Paul Foster. And uh, what a great mentor to have, isn't it, David? He, great opportunity to learn the game as well. Also, it'll up his standard playing against Paul. Yes, absolutely. Daniel Poole's played a good ball there, it's just in front. Gives him something around the head. Two shots against him. He might be tempted to run at this. Try and shake things up a bit. Still playing the drawing shot at the moment. better needs to get his own ball solid yeah just caught it as he was drifting away from the head one great still second shot the, the problem with second shot john is that you're almost tempted to say to yourself you know i don't want to i don't want to go with this because it, something could, awful could happen but you can't think like that you're gonna have to shake up this guy because he's playing well Down on you if he gets past this to the red bowl or even deeper. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know it's, it's matching the back bowl, but I think here with uh, with Daniel, okay, if he loses an extra shot, well, it's worth the risk. It depends what, which hand he plays this off. He could, with the right connection on the front green, remove the, the two green bowls, Dave. Yeah, you're almost tempted to play it on the backhand simply because you're yes. drifting inside the head. Yeah, it looks a better connection to get a solid contact yeah. on the first green. Playing it, he's seen it, and he's playing it. He's not too far away. Gets that solid to clean the two out. Oh, he's played it well. Oh, yes, played it well. One lock did. He had, didn't really have as much weight as we thought he might play it with, but a beautiful execution. One shot, Daniel Paul. Yeah, he saw the shot and he's played it well. And Sets go 3-6 after seven ends. I get the impression from watching his previous match that he's, he's good at the heavy weight shots and there's no reason why we shouldn't play a bit more of them. supporters going to see both players
And of course, Paul Foster tomorrow. Track length 24 meters. Paul going for the sixth singles title to match his great friend Alex Marshall. Lovely adjustment there. First ball to second ball. Absolutely. Can't touch it. Really good Quite ball. Right. It's another good ball there for Darren Weir. Good position. Uh, well, Daniel's feeling confident. He's happy enough to play the forehand. Just gets past his own ball to the two green ones. It would be very good. Doesn't want to touch it and open it though. Quietly, doesn't want to. Oh, that was good. perfect. Wait. That was a confident draw, John, because you could see how much that ball or the jack moved just with the very slightest of a touch. Timeout called. Darren has five timeouts remaining. Well, he's looking at the options here, Darren Weir. He's looking at the strike. The only trouble is with the strike, the straight contact on the reds will go straight back into his greens, Dave. Yeah, it's 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 not ideal, and, and the one he hits may well lock in as well. So forehand, just try and get to the jack. He has got last ball here, so got to give it a chance. Might force the issue a little bit by going to the other side now, but. Yeah, you would think Daniel Poole, you probably go for position, play his back on side, just get past the jack somewhere around the greens. Well, he's had a good look at it, using a timeout. Still think for him the backhand would be useful. The forehand's good, but only if he's got perfect weight. Yeah, he doesn't want to move the shot bowl off the forehand. He's on a wider line this time. I think this yeah. is very deliberate, Dave. He's going a little bit further back. It's very sensible. Yeah. It's a good ball there. Yep. Very useful. Good knowledge. Draw the shot again. Bit more weight on this. Half a chance. I'm certainly more interested. Yep, just drifting past. Good effort there though. Very good try. Two shots, Daniel Paul. Score five six after eight ends. <coughs> Not
Nothing between these two guys. Three to play. Yeah, so it's going to be a bit of a chase now to Track the length 24 meters. Winning post of this set, ninth end of the 11. So the person behind you're really thinking must score because Darren Weir scores. Daniel Poole may have to take a few chances in the, on the eighth end. Two, two good opening bows from both lads again. Can we get the advantage on the end of the first deliveries? What's the gap between Wayne and the Jack Earl? Uh, three inches. Daniel's form Jack High is one? This one. Um, three inches past Jack High. It's one of the rare times that he's going to look at the head after the second bowl. Front Tip red one's not going to help now. It's going to be hard enough for Daniel Poole to negotiate into this. Better line on the backhand side. He's got half a chance with this if he gets the bend. Don't think he's just there, John. No, he just ran out of steam, didn't he? Um, Looked good on the way down, just didn't have the weight. Slight reaction there as if he thought this one wasn't quite right. Yeah, he'd be pleased though. He struck back with a two, hasn't he? After dropping a two the last end, he's back now with a two four. Stretches away again. Set score 5 8 after nine ends. That's Darren Weir's girlfriend, Sophie, brother Andrew. Just texting the score of the first set. And we're not quite there just yet. Track length 23 and a half meters. about as good as you need as you can get pushing that one in behind. Oh, 
Excellent. Again, doesn't want to fall back. Quandary. Standing up at the moment. This really is an end that Daniel Poole must win. Try this is again. Oh, what a try this is. Big, big effort. <laughs> really good effort. Jack High Ball. Giving himself a great chance for the next one. Yeah, really good ball. Set it up for himself. end of Daniel Poole's bowl. He's just played outside. That's good. Good position there. Difficult shot, but he has to try it. Yeah, it's there off his last bowl, isn't it? He doesn't want to cut his green too much now, coming up this way. Same sort of line. He can just chop back off that bowl with a foot of weight. too keen to get that yes yes probably probably just a little bit heavy for that can't blame him though no it's the right shot to play uh, there's no point in being short to it no wouldn't be far away probably david half that weight isn't it if you can lose maybe a meter off that and it wouldn't be too far away on the line he played Looking at it, giving it a good look. He's oh. in the area, very close with this. Just oh. needs a touch. Oh, has he managed to keep it in there? Has it bounced off his own ball? One shot, Daniel Paul. Oh, very good. Well deserved result for a good ball there. Wasn't it easy to beat, and he's played it so well. Set score six eight after ten ends. Made that adjustment on weight and he gets the result. Yes, the bounce was the, just how far it was going to bounce, that was all. And he just held on to it, played it very well, took a shit off the weight. Keeps him in the set, gives him a chance of scoring a double to level the set. Get a half out of it, or alternatively, more to win it. Half meters. Inside it is good. Oh, not too bad. Oh, that's very good. He's made a good adjustment there. Falls back. It's excellent. Too great. It's going to be difficult now for the. Get that two Davy needs, Daniel Poole. Well, he's going to have to draw it. All I did is get the first one in. A good light, too. 
He is, it's just the weight. And the beast just over. It's okay. Yes, it still offers an opportunity. Spot covered. I think he'll be just playing this with similar rate as last ball, but he can play it either side. He needs to trail the jack one way or the other. Yeah, that would be the perfect delivery if he can get back to the jack with the weight he had on the last ball. Not easy to do, but he could just drag it through. Not bad for line. Half a chance here, Dave. Great try this is. Very close to it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, that's a brilliant ball. Yeah. That is a really top quality ball. And not only that, but the absolute perfect result. Two red. Well, Darren, we had covered where he thought it was going to go, but that shot was always on. But the play that with two feet of running. Tell you what, I haven't seen that play to that profession Darren during the week, David. That was a brilliant delivery on that hand away place. Well, I think Darren's going to... He'll need to hit this. He will. It doesn't really matter what sort of weight he, he plays into. It can be anything from two or three yards to a full drive. He's got the back position. Just needs to take one of the balls out. Well, a lot of weight, but no direction. Two shots. Daniel Paul, first set tie. Great set of balls. Excellent set of balls. Brilliant. Well, that was top-class stuff, no doubt about that. Well, Daniel Poole's family will be delighted. Dad, Norman, and sister, Mackenzie. And they're having a good giggle, because they can see them. See themselves <laughs> on the big screen. Three and a half meters. Well, both these young players in this final of the under 25 singles have been playing exceptionally well. Daniel Weir, Darren Weir, he was really pushing forward at 6 2, then 6 3, and looked like he was in a very good position to win when he was 8 5 up with two ends to go. But a single and a double from Daniel Poole leveled the set, so a half each. And we've another 11 ends to separate these two players. A drawn set is very rarely repeated by another drawn set, John. For the three end tie break, it's, it has been known to happen, but it is rare. Usually get a winner somewhere along the line in the second set. Yes, and particularly on the final, it's a longer set and it did that extra two ends normally. See, somebody will get over the line. It's been so tight between these two players, it's... Who makes the first break, really, gets a little bit of daylight, doesn't it? Four or five shots ahead, that could be the issue now. One red. Last bowl, two, two feet. He's coming around the outside. It's another position ball, very close to drawing the One shot. Right. Needs to get another one in. Can 
good. Calling it back, swinging in. He's played this. Yep. Really good. Two right. Right through this, try and pull the jack. I think David threw to the two green balls. Yes, at worst tick, one away. In the target area, depends what he gets now. Oh, that's a terrible result. Oh, that is horrible. It's always possible, but you can very rarely anticipate Something like that happening. Yeah, it just got it solid into his back one and it's come all the way back up and he's three down. Three right. Wouldn't have been so bad if it hadn't hit the, the second short ball because you know, it hit the back ball, then hit the other ball and it took it off, off the angle. Daniel needs it to stop now. Yes, yeah, that'll swing away. Well, it's going to be close for the, the last one. Might be just a three. Five bit of rip, though. It's worth the measure, I would have thought. Yep, yep absolutely measure. Bit of a distance, you're uh, always good to ask, just in case, but... Uh, Get the measure out, sort it out. Yeah, Darren, we asked uh, Alan Thornhill for an opinion. He does slightly fancy the red. Well, that went through clean. I think it was a good call by Alan Thornhill. It's just red. I'll tell you what, that was a very good call. Because that was very close. Four shots, Daniel Paul. Yeah, if you want to have an unlucky result and lose a four, do it on the first end. 4 0, first end. Four meters. Uh, finding the range now. And a good run of ends now. Playing well. Good lead balls by both players. Dropping inside the green again. Played another. Good shooting, isn't it? You know, three top class balls. I think it's only two, yeah. Um, Al Thornhill thinks it's only two at the moment. Time out call. That's bad enough, though, for Darren Weir. Well, well exactly. I'm, I'm inclined Darren, to believe him, but. 
you know, it's, it's one of those ones that you want to try and use the shoulder but you don't want to go too heavy on it because you'll just go past but if you can use the bowl it's just short of jack high there's a natural angle into the jack on his backhand I think the line was uh, wasn't too far away and probably another yard on that John to keep if he can keep that line he's got an angle to string you know, push the jack over that last ball now yeah but it's not an easy shot to play as he said David with that kind of weight onto a good home to the right of the jack down here now, Dan will be on his backhand trying to split the two green balls would be useful yeah I'm just looking at uh, what do you play here I think that's the safe shot to cover those Yeah, going deep. He decided to cover the spot. Not a bad idea. Well, you know, he didn't have any back position. Certainly has now. The theory is, isn't it, you know, he, this, this little shot that Dan is trying is quite a hard shot anyway, Dave, isn't it? It is. He did strike in it, the ball. It's, you could say the strike is the easier hit, really. Mm, single ball target, I don't know. Neither, neither of it is, is, is easy. Got a bit more on this one. Still going, will it hang on? No, oh, it could cost him another one. It has. Again, it was the right shot. He just missed the, the line. Three shots, Daniel Paul. <laughs> Set score 7-0 after two ends. Well, I did say if somebody got away, David, in this set, and Daniel Poole has had a flyer. He certainly has. Still nine hands to go, but he's building the heads better already in this particular set. Uh, getting one and two balls in the last set, but this is more like three and jack length 24 meters. I appreciate the jack bounced in the first end, but he was forcing Darren Weir into playing the weight shots. Ball ball there, swap sides. First ball straight onto it on the back end, back toucher. One red. Playing it, close, got it. Yeah, so I think he's just decided to shake things up. He's being beaten to the jack, and uh, he's just decided, right, okay, I need to move things around. Well, Thornhill just sorting out where the jack is. That's on the re spot. Shots down here, can't afford to make a mistake with the next one, Darren Weir. This is all about getting a, a decent close number one shot. On the narrow side, that's almost as good as you can hope for, John, unless you're prepared to flirt with that short bowl. Yeah, down 
Well, he won't be flirting with that short ball. I think he's got a secure second. Yeah, he's on his left. Well, see, he's left-handed, so he has to miss this ball. Just around it, oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Very good. Uh, I did say I had the fruit with it, but <laughs> goodness me. You nearly chug hands with it, eh? One that shot down with thought he was just making it, but so it was very close for comfort, free. wasn't it? Wow. Didn't want to run into that solid. No, but good weight. Takes a single. Losing a three there would have been a bit of an uphill, uphill task. However, still not great, but 7 1's better than 10 0. That length 24 metres. First ball for a while. Yeah, he was very good in the early stages of the first set with that first ball. A little, wasn't playing badly after that. Daniel Poole picked his game up, but uh, he's just got back into it there. And it's great to get that first in, in for the first end, isn't it, Dave? And get that ball in there. Yeah, it takes the pressure off because uh, you, know, you may not lie that shot the whole way through, but you're not going to lose threes and fours of your four inches away from it. Eleven end sets. Still plenty of time. One green. is eight inches. <laughs> Your last bowl has gone three, just over three feet. Neely got inside the red for another. Darren just has to nibble away here at this lead. One, two shots for two or three ends. Too heavy. Didn't like it out of the hand. Knew there was something wrong. Good draw shot required now. <laughs> One shot, Darren Wynn. Set score seven two after four ends.
Track length 24 and a half metres. to lead off this side forehand sticking with it you can get round that green ball He's playing it well I think the left hander gets a bigger dip. This is forehand and it's coming back very strong now. Just about, I think. Cracking line again, you. Yeah. I see that's always turned his back. He hasn't yeah. sent it. Yep, just the weight. Line was good. Green bump. It's a bit tighter with that one. One green. To the green, he pushes it away. Just bending, no good weight. So he's playing the shot. Yeah, his weight was good all the way. One red. Oh, Darren. Darren, we rushed that, I think, a little bit more. I know he's very quick on the mat, but he was away with it there very quickly then. Yes, plenty of time, um, time outs available, so it might have been a good time to use one. Just to steady himself. Big effort again, yeah. And gets a little touch as well if he falls back. Oh, he dropped back. Oh, he didn't. Oh. He got a little wobble there. I thought he was just going to drop back to make the three. Good two, though. Very two good shots. two shots. Nine two after five ends. Well, Daniel Poole is in a very strong position now. Seven up. Still a long way to go. Six ends. But it's a nice position to be in. It's all about managing the game now, isn't it, John? It certainly is. It's a bit early. You'd want that sort of lead with two ends to go, but. Track length 24 metres. Well, he's playing very well at the moment, you see, and you're, you're confident then, aren't you, David? You know, you, you feel you can close it off. Good start again. Good opening ball. Yes, these are the sort of players we want to see in the qualifiers because they're obviously they're very talented as well, and but they've got the right demeanour, they've got the right attitude, very sound tactically. I always think with the under 25 teams, John, they should be encouraged as a block to actually enter the uh, PBA. The, Special Bowl Association qualifiers simply in every country simply because of what it will do for their game. They're up against some some good quality players yeah. in the qualifiers. It certainly does sharpen up your play. Two way of learning the game. Yeah, 
Yes, it's, um, I run the, the Belfast one, as I've done for a long, long time, the Belfast qualifier, but uh, one red. not as many of the young players playing as I'd like. Quite a few do. Some come over from Scotland and England as well to play in, the, in that qualifier. Uh, this year, not sure if that'll be the case for me, but uh, in the meantime, I'd like to see a few more. Just got to drop that. Doesn't want the hole. Yeah, got the touch off it. Good ball. Yep, played that well. Played it with good weight. That was the key. Yeah, I think it's just one. Difficult one. If you go for the ball under the jack, do you go for second shot? Well, I think he might just go for second with the position he's in. He's 9-2 up. Get a tight second. Not the end of the world if you lose a single year. Gentle, gentle. Oh, well. Not sure if it's one or two. Certainly looks very close for the second. Probably just the one, according to our rings. Yes, Alan Thornhill didn't commit himself, I think, when he was asked. To. It must be fairly close. So you try and draw a second, take a chance in the measure. Gently on the jack, gently on the jack, and if he flops back, no, it's not going to move. If he'd have flopped back onto that, he was making three. Two shots, Durham win. So, it's a good double. Take the two. Set score 9 4 after six ends. Darren Weird. This is Brother Andrew just updating everyone. Yeah, he's spending some time on that phone. Of course, he might be tracking his shares or something, or his football scores or something, Dave. Or his horses, you know, no? Never know. Fighting hard to get back into this set, Darren Weir. Oh, this is some reply yeah. if he gets to it. Great ball. Oh, that's a good ball. There he is. Touch it too hard. Gently, gently. Oh, well, that's okay. You know, he's brought down the open a little bit, John, but that's a good second shot. He was just diving at the right moment there. He wouldn't open her up too much. I think if he's going to play this sort of shot in the forehand, I think Daniel would be better if he plays it with more weight, to be honest. Too great. In. This could be three. If he's tempted to go uh, for this. Uh, well, it's either a draw or you go for it. One or the other. You make up your own mind. It's not that yard on. It's tight. Mm. Yes, yeah, Mr. Line. So I think it's the right shot, though. I really do. The choice is here now for Darren Rea. Does he go for a? Another shot. 
got anything at the back, of course. That's, that's very close. It's slightly favoured green, but it's really close. Uh, do you mind your Al Thornhill said that it's very close to the third. It's definitely to measure for three. That has two timeouts remaining. Uh, I, th I don't think he's got much of a choice here. There's two red balls back there, and you know it's a it's a matter of he has to make sure he doesn't lose more than one if that jack ends up in the ditch. Could play a sort of on that back and a yard on well a meter yeah, right split David. through. And yeah. If he does land on the, the green bowl and play it away then he can end up playing four, he gets past. It's going deep oh, he is. Yeah. Playing him right down the back. Can't play him a default shot if you're not really quite sure what's gonna happen. It was difficult for him then. Go right round. And even if Daniel does play this again and gets the jack, that's always got a possibility of, of scoring. Because it's well through. Yeah, I think he was forced into that, Darren. We had to go deep. Take the risk. Controlled weight. Wow, that's a hard weight to play. Very controlled. He's going to dive under. Oh, well under. Yeah. You sort of get sucked into that shot, don't you, John? If you'd have turned the jack with that weight, he was going to make a three. But uh, that's a hard shot to play. I'm sure he's watched a lot of the top players in the world try that shot and miss it. Umpire, please. Well, Two green and a measure for third. Three ends to go, and they sort of this measure. But Dan blew it, and it's uh, it's going to be a very close measure. So everybody sitting outside will be thinking to themselves, "Who is it? How many is it?" And we have our experts here, of course, John, and don't oft, we? Often they're they're right, aren't they? Well, we still don't know. I think it's green. I think so. Feeling he's going back to it. He's just going back because he has to to make sure. I think so. There green you it go. Is, Dave. Three shots, down with. <laughs> Our experts were right, and so was John. Set score 9 7 after 7 ends. Well, wow, that's right. He's gone from a very comfortable score line now and it's mm. anybody's again well 9-2 you're trying to manage the game so we talked about John you lose one shot and an end goes that's fine but when you're losing two and a three well that's a whole lot different that jack was not up so it goes back to Daniel Poole he will play his length and as every bowler in the country knows Darren Weir will still play the first ball. Jack length, 25 metres. Still wouldn't like to call a winner on this one. No, it's been a good tussle. Some really good balls played. Yeah, Daniel Weir was just finding his draw for a while there, John, wasn't he? And he's back onto it again. See it happening, couldn't you? One red. Well, that's just very bad luck. Nice 
Nice boat. Yep. That's a good boat in there. Just needs a little tap on the red bolt. Uh, down and we are just to reach it, rock it. Can't play anything else at this stage. Idea was good. He got the weight just a foot short. Have to be careful. It'll be it's hard to say if he's on the wrong side because we don't know where the jack's on a bounce to, but oh, Darren's just trying to there's a little tap on it. Well he's going big. It's gonna open things right up if he hits it. Well, he's no worse off anyway, John, but uh, <laughs> there is a big shot on here. But my goodness me, you have to be brave to take this on. Well, really that's very brave. risky. If, if it's what I right. think you're thinking, Dave, it's very <laughs> risky. <laughs> We're just pointing it out, John. Yeah. That's all, that's all I'm doing. Po positive bowl from you. You're normally, cool. normally quite negative. Well, you know, I've been accused of such things when, when I'm playing, I'm quite positive. You know, you have three I think you have to point out what can go wrong and you have to think about that. Um, you know, we always talk about the percentage shot. This isn't a particularly good percentage shot because it could go badly wrong. But if you want to take a risk, the prize is absolutely massive. Yeah, roll the green out with a meter of weight. Don't get tight and hit the red ball. End of the line anyway. Yeah. Played that a little bit half-hearted. Wasn't I really committed to it. No, I can't blame him. You know, he's... No. Three shots in front now with uh, three ends to go. And <laughs> but I know a few players that would have played that. Possibly. Set score 10-7 after eight ends. Got that three-shot lead and could have gone wrong if he'd have been inside it with the right weight, Dave. I can't blame him. Thinking back to... I played with for a number of years an international team, Gary Kelly, who now plays down in Australia. He would have been after that. He's just that sort of attacking players prepared to not only take a risk, but also have the confidence in his own ability to get it. Another mistake on the jack. This time by Daniel Poole. Now, see where he goes with this, Darren. You're going to go long. There's been a lot of long ends in this match. Track length 25 metres. Only a couple of metres longer. What Daniel was looking for. Yes, four inches short, Jack.
lifting the red ball. Just hoping that's a good result. Yes, it was always close. The right idea just needed a little bit Too more right. power on it. This is a, a must win end for Darren Weir. Gets through to the green ball, be good. Lifting that is oh decent. Yeah. Yes, that's good. Especially if it drops. I think he'll be tempted to play this, Dave. I think he will. There's, you know, it, it's such a small target to draw the jack. Needs to get it out in the open. He gives himself a chance, really. It's, it's a, you know, he has to get it absolutely perfect on the draw. So uh, coming into it, open things up. Looks bang on target to me. Oh, he's got it out. That's a good shot. Had yeah. to play that. Played it really well. Yes, that was one of those ones, John, out of the hand. You knew it was going to be good. It's probably one to red at the moment, but that doesn't matter. They're so far away. The two balls. This one will be a lot closer. going to stop it's just Too rolled red. away it's about just over a meter away Paul Foster still watching with interest with his club mate Ooh, needs to stop needs to stop can't afford to lose this one it's falling back Wow. Might be just enough. Yes, it is. <laughs> there was a relief. <laughs> it doesn't show much emotion, but there was a relief there. One shot down with. Set so scored 10 8 after nine ends. And Paul Foster looks after the under 25s, doesn't he, for the Scotland or Team Scotland? Yes, not a bad uh, coach or team manager to have, is it, Dave? I'd be very happy with that. I was in that team, I know that for sure. So he's keeping a good eye on both these players, albeit one of them is a teammate. Four and a half metres. Or a club mate, so we, uh, we'll be watching Daniel Poole very carefully. because he, he's just kept his nerve, hasn't he? And yes. good balls. Anything behind his own ball now is good. Just wants to slide past it. Oh yes, that will do. Very good. Mm, very much do. 
Darren Wheel take a look at this. He's got options. Does he go for the draw or play a similar strike to the last end and get it out in the open? His problem with going for the strike is that if he if he brings it right open, he's only got one ball left. Timeout called. There is a Darren shot, one just a trail the jack, but that's a hard one. Playing it. Oh, just got just enough just of it. Just enough, but it's good. That'll be on the respot. He's taking the danger away, the immediate danger. Just got enough of the jack to get it out, yep. Dave. He'd have missed that jack. He'd have taken his two back ones away. He would, and he wasn't. He didn't look too confident. He was waiting on it coming back, but he played it on his forehand, John. Give it that extra dip. This is the one he wants to get really close. It's coming away on the inside, but the weight's good. Yep, not bad at all. Top ball. One red. And Darren Weir has to beat it because there's another red to come. line he'll get down if he's got the right weight does he play the right weight needs to hurry oh dear me that looks like it's dropped short One red. one red. Has to be a little bit careful here if he's going to play. He doesn't want to touch that green ball. He could play the other side and just. Two time there's a big gap there. Although that ball's just fallen down, that will help a little bit more now. So that's a little bit more safety. But he is coming on the backhand. I'm not surprised about this. Not a particularly easy shot to come across the rink, but almost impossible to give it away. Oh, he didn't push it. Oh, dear. One oh. shot, Daniel Paul. It's still good. Sets go in eight off the ten end. One end to get a three to force a tie break. Yeah, one Jack good ball he needs here, Daniel Poole. Front toucher. It's a dream ball, David, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything that's reasonably close, force your opponent into putting three inside it. Well, if you want to miss it, miss it on the, the long mm -hmm. side. That's the better way to be. Adjustment. Oh, that's a great point. Can you say with a front toucher jump? Yeah, just when you wanted one. And we are going to have to work very hard to get anything out of this now. One 
run for cover with this. Best back ball. Yep, absolutely no need to go near it. Good choice, even to push the ball onto the jack and move it uh, probably four feet. That's a very hard shot and one that he probably has to try and play. Yeah, it's very tough, isn't it? The thing is, he, he doesn't want to play this too heavy because he'll lose the ball, which is not good. Goes in the ditch, so he's got to control the weight to try and get a movement. Well, he's pushed it out wide. Well, he may be playing for position with this ball, Dave, and yeah. trying to move it with the last. And that's okay too, because it's a choice. Yeah, you know, that's he, what he's done. Either way, you have to get that third one. And uh, that's a nice little triangle of green balls, and that's what Daniel Poole will be looking for. Yeah, one ball in that triangle of green. I think he's over the line. Got a chance now if he just got the run in. He's trying to encourage it forward. At the very least, just get behind the jack. Not quite far enough. Well, there is a slight chance here, but this oh. is a very difficult shot to play. Yes, and, and Daniel Poole knows that. He realises you know, that's why he's not happy about that last one, because he knows that a cover ball to split the greens, and that was enough. He's got to play probably two metres away, Dave, probably on the, the red. I'm out cold. Just a little punch shot, try and get the jack that all the way no into that triangle of green balls. Yes, into that ball is what you're looking for, John. Now, when you get it down to about this position, that would bring in two green, and there's one just beyond that. This is one of those nightmare shots that's almost impossible, though. No, and he's just inside it. Had to play it. Very difficult. One shot, second set. Oh, that's a really good win by Daniel Poole against the more experienced Darren Weir, but Daniel played really well. First set tied, came back strong, scored three shots in the last two ends to tie that, and uh, made the run into 9 2. At one stage, still held a three shot win or three shot lead at eight ends, but managed in the end to take two singles. To win by 12-8. Good game, John. Good quality. Excellent game. Both players play some wonderful balls. Daniel just finished stronger in that second set, but an excellent game. Really good balls. Yes, he, he was in the in the situation where it was a lot of good first balls played by both players, but the conversion shots ultimately are still extremely hard on this rink, and you have to spend an awful lot of time on it to get absolute control of them. Well, you always know you're going to get some quality stuff in the under 25s, and that's exactly what we managed to get in this game. Daniel Poole just pulling that jack back for a double. Get the end of the first set. And he didn't stop there, he just kept going. An easy delivery. And then in the last end, just Tried to get a cover ball in and left Darren Weir with an almost impossible shot to get out of trouble. So a quick congratulations. Good balls. High entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please put your hands together for the presentation party for tournament director Tom Weir and the World Bowls Tour director Jason Parkinson. Please put your hands together, ladies and gents, for the runner-up of that match, Darren Weir. <laughs> but your Potter's Resorts Under-25s World Champion is Daniel Poole.
keep that applause going, ladies and gents, one more time. The 2022 Potters Resorts Under 25s World Champion, Daniel Poole. Daniel Poole, everybody. I suspect these two players will be international colleagues for many years to come, but on this day, Daniel Poole was just the better player over Darren Weir, and he takes the under-25s title here at Potters.